This whole situation, the whole story, the whole controversy about Donald Trump and Russia and his campaign and wiretapping and surveillance has become a bloody mess. It's very difficult to unravel, even if for people like me who are paid to do this for a living, it has become just a, a, a raging flood of muddy waters. Now, CNN had a story the other night that looked like it was a bit of a bombshell. But on closer inspection, not so much. Let me read you first what CNN reported. Um, the FBI, this is according, of course, to unnamed sources, has information that indicates associates of Donald Trump communicated with suspected Russian operatives to possibly coordinate the release of information damaging to Hillary Clinton's campaign. Whoa, that sounds like a really big deal. But let's look at the wording. To possibly coordinate the release of information damaging to Hillary. Well, did it happen or did it not happen? A couple sentences later in the same report that aired on Anderson Cooper 360, um, you hear the following. Though officials we've spoken to caution the information is not conclusive and the investigation is ongoing. Okay, so now we have this possibly happened, but it's not conclusive. And then still further uh, watering this thing down, these officials, again, unnamed sources, say it is premature. Some of these officials say it's premature to assume that the campaign, Trump campaign, colluded with Moscow based on largely circumstantial evidence. So there are a whole bunch of qualifiers and uh, words in there that make you wonder what does CNN actually have? Not conclusive, premature, largely circumstantial, possibly. Now, I understand there are different uh, officials here being quoted anonymously, but, you know, I was an investigative reporter for years and years, and it seems to me this story doesn't quite clear the bar. This is the kind of story that makes you say, we have to keep reporting. There may be something here, there may be nothing here, if it turns out that it's circumstantial, etc. Now, even beyond this CNN report, you had um, this incredible spectacle of the Republican chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Devin Nunes, uh, actually going to the White House with information that he says he got from top secret classified uh, reports. Hasn't say how he got them. He didn't share these with his committee. Remember, this guy's supposed to be leading a bipartisan investigation. He goes over to the Trump White House to brief um, the White House on his findings. And it makes it look like, and he's gotten a lot of criticism from the media and Democrats, like he's on the home team like he's trying to help the Trump White House get through this rather than leading an independent bipartisan investigation. Even in the case of Nunez, it's not clear what he has. He it seems to be suggesting that information about um, Trump transition aides uh, may have incidentally, that was his word, incidentally surfaced on wiretaps of foreign citizens. Well, that happens in U.S. intelligence all the time. Doesn't mean Trump was targeted. And by the way, he says this happened during the transition, not during the campaign. Remember, Donald Trump's original charge was that Barack Obama had him targeted for wiretapping or surveillance during the 2016 campaign. I know all this is ridiculously hard to follow, and I think that's ultimately the point. It's become so muddy and so unclear uh, that I think for a lot of people out there, it's kind of become beltway noise. And that kind of cancels everything out until some news organization or some congressional committee or some independent prosecutor can prove something here. I think a lot of Americans are just tuning it all out.